Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today's video is my five picks for tricks. So I'm just going to start calling this series five picks. And I've done maybe a video or two on each one of these items, but never all together with Control Altered it and Shift Key. The first one is the when you're when you've got an item that's got a bunch of nodes, and let's zoom in here. And I want to grab, and I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but there's two nodes right here. And with the shape tool, I want to grab these two nodes. Well, if you lasso the two nodes, you can't, you really can't get them without getting these other nodes. So if you want to move them, they're all going to move. So two ways you can do it. You can hold down the shift key, just like you would the pick tool. And then you can get those two new nodes. Or if there was a lot of them and you didn't want to, let's say, well, let's get these five and you didn't want to pick, 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 pick. You can hold down the alternate key and the alternate key makes it work like a freehand pick tool. And now you've got those five items. So that's the alternate key. Let's say you have a rectangle. Let's just draw a rectangle. And you want to move it up and down or you want to butt it up against this box well if you'll hold down the control button it won't let you go but up and down it won't let you go up and down or left and right you can't just go way over here if you can see my cross number or crossbar I'm going just up and down or left and right on that plane that it started with now with that said these three items, the rectangle or an oval and the shift key word, are right down here, a group of three objects on one layer. I want to move it down. Well, I can move it, but I can't make sure I'm perfectly aligned from where it was. And the control button won't work when something's grouped together because it's trying to ungroup something, which is really important because if I wanted this over here, these three items are still grouped together. I haven't changed anything. I use this a lot when I've got a detailed drawing and I don't want to mess anything up. I just want to nudge something over. So how do you move this? Well, grab it and start moving it before you hold down the shift key. Once you start moving it, then you can hold down the shift key and it works like the control. You can go left or right or up and down, but you can't get off that track. Next up is page up and page down, holding down the shift key. If we wanted this to, and I'm just using these for examples, I don't know why you'd ever want text behind something, but hold down the shift key and page down. It's going to take it to the next level or layer. Here we have a yellow box behind a blue box, which is behind a green box. If we take the yellow and we want it up top, shift page up and it brings it all the way to the top. Shift page down and it brings it back to the bottom. Well, what happens if we want to put it between these two layers? Control page up. Well, let's try the, the green. Control page down. So it put it below those layers. If you want the dark blue all the way to the bottom, can, uh, shift and it's actually you can't maybe tell it but it's it's actually behind that yellow next up if you want to if you draw on an item and you want to expand it with the handles it's going to just it's shrinking or it's pulling it from one side to the other it's not to me, it doesn't work very well. Well, if you hold down the shift and alternate button at the same time, it'll expand it from the, my computer's having a mess a little bit. It'll expand it from the middle equally. And, and it's really doing the same thing, but if you wanted that heart in the center of the page and you just wanted it a little bit bigger and then a little bit shorter, you're still in the center, let's just, 
Well, let's just put it in the center of the page. Let's get rid of all this for a second. Let's put this in the center of the page. And we want it to stay in the center of the page because let's say it's in the center of a drawing. So just shift alternate and it's still in the center of the page. So that's your control alternate shift keys for today. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.